This is the desk that I use to make my YouTube videos, but it's really hard to plug things in, so I'm gonna add an outlet in this corner. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. I picked up this outlet on Amazon for about $25 and I'll have it linked below. Before I bought this, I was using a surge protector, but the cables always got in the way and it took too much space. This new outlet is a lot better because it's very thin and I don't need the charging bricks for my phone. This will also look a lot more clean because the power comes from this cable that will be hidden under the desk. These are really convenient, so highly recommend picking one up. The first thing I need to do is measure out where I'm going to put the outlet and check that there's nothing underneath the tabletop. When you measure out where you're going to put the outlet, you want to make sure that you're leaving about a quarter inch or half inch from the frame so you don't accidentally cut into it. Also look under your desk and check if there's any support brackets like I have here in the corner. Wood desks will generally have larger corner brackets, so watch out for those. I'm now going to measure the outlet box to see how long I need to make my cut. I'm making sure to measure the power box underneath, not the top cover, and the power box measures about five and a quarter inch. I made the first mark at two and a half inches from the edge, then made a second mark at five and a quarter inches over. The width is one and seven eighths, so I'm gonna go down one and seven eighths from those two marks I just made. Now I'm gonna double check that everything's measured correctly. Then I'm gonna connect the dots so that I have a guide to make my cut. And just like that, I got a perfect rectangle as a guide. Just to be careful, one more time, I'm gonna eyeball it to make sure the outlet fits, and then I'll make the cut. To get the hole started, I'm gonna use this 5-8 spade bit, but a regular drill bit is just fine. Grab a vacuum, cause these tables make a huge mess. To cut the rest of it out, I'm gonna use this jigsaw. These run about $40 and you can get them at most any hardware store. When I cut it out, I'm going to start from the center and go to each corner kind of like a pizza. After that, I'll take out small chunks until I'm able to move the blade around. As you cut this out, you don't want to go past the edge of your markings and I recommend stopping slightly before. You can always go back and cut more later. Cut out the basic shape of the rectangle, then go back and clean it up. With that done, I'm now going to put in the outlet. When you put this in, you can see why it's so important that you cut along the lines. If I cut too much off, you'll see the hole on the sides. Next, I'm going to pre-drill some holes, otherwise the screw heads could break off when I screw it in. After you drill holes for the screws, take a second to clean everything up and make sure to go over the ports to get any dust out. Also take a second to clean all the dust and debris on the floor, because these compact tables are extremely messy. It's all cleaned up, so now I'm going to put in the screws. The screws made it very tight, and the outlet wouldn't move at all. It's secure, so now I'm going to give it power by plugging in the 6-foot cord. There's no on or off switch, so I'm going to test that it's working by plugging something in. The standard receptacles work perfectly, and same thing with the USB-C outlet. In fact, it charged my phone in about 25 minutes. And that's a win. As I mentioned earlier, I'll have the outlet and all the tools I use linked below. I'll also link to a couple other outlets that are very similar, but have different plugins. If this was helpful, check out my home repair playlist where I have a lot of other similar tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.